right from the very beginning, we really wanted to make uh, the film as realistic as it possibly could be in terms of, of, of the flight and how it looked and the kind of the visceral feeling of what it must be like to be in that balloon. So, so we started off by saying, well, what of it can we do for real? And, and that led us to building our own period accurate 19th century gas balloon and uh, we took that up in the air and Eddie and Felicity did a number of flights in that balloon and we filmed in a helicopter. Um, so a lot of it was done for real. We did have a stunt woman climbing up out of the basket at 3,000 feet over, over the United Kingdom and climbing to the top. Um, so And then all the things that we couldn't do for real, we, we tried to recreate in as close a way as possible. Um, so, for example, we, we chilled the studio down to minus one degrees in the, to kind of recreate the, the, something towards the temperature of the upper atmosphere. We, um, uh, Eddie and I went on uh, hypoxia training and, uh, and went to this Ministry of Defence air base um, in the UK where they, they put us in a decompression chamber and took us up to the equivalent of, of 30,000 feet and starved us of oxygen. Um, so we kind of we sort of embraced all of these things just to try and and give Eddie and Felicity the tools they needed in order to 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 convey what it was like to be at that atmosphere. But in terms of the visuals, there was some that that, that obviously we had to shoot in a, in a green screen that we couldn't do for real, but um, but we tried to kind of make it again make it feel as real as possible. So we built the the balloon in the studio and Felicity scaled that, which is again no mean feat. And, all the cloud photography went around the world to New Orleans, to um, South Africa, to various different places trying to kind of capture the best clouds. So, you know, even though it's kind of constructed, it's constructed out of a, a number of real elements. Well, that's a good question. And it, actually, hypoxia um, apparently affects everybody differently. Um, in my case, it made me feel rather sick and lose my memory but in Eddie's case he became sort of fervent and passionate and quite euphoric so it's a really different experience and affects people in different ways. I think my favourite scene is probably when Felicity climbs back into the basket there's such um right from the very beginning Felicity was always adamant that she wants to embrace the physical side of the performance and that scene so it shows a sort of a beautiful intertwining of the physical and the emotional and um, uh, it's really something to behold. She's, she does something quite exceptional there, I think. Mm -hmm.